welcome back to the sound for more channel today i have the pleasure to introduce you to a very nice app a very nice utility app as i call it because it allows you to convert audio to midi before i continue i would like to remind my viewers to subscribe as it helps with growing the channel additionally if you would like to participate in the giveaway please do follow the instruction contained in the video description thank you again first of all we are inside aum we're just going to create an audio channel because um, um it's an auv free so auv free compliant so we're going to search for a2 and immediately we find these uh, a2m from beat bars um, when you open it, this is the interface. It's very simple. You have a section on the left hand side, which is the audio input, and then on the right hand side, you have a MIDI output. You can choose left and right channel. You can decide to change the input gain, which is important in terms of recognizing notes, the gain threshold, which again is important in terms of re making exactly that the recognition after the gate threshold is passed and then you have the midi output you have two algorithm a proprietary one the auto correction and the parabolic one as well which allows you to change the type of algorithm to that is used to recognize notes then you can choose between combination latency and accuracy you can decide of course the um if you have it in flat or sharp here the settings you can adjust the tuning and then you see the notes represented here with the levels and then you have the velocity gain which you can change you have a link to the um to the manual online and also link to write a review so the app is very simple so let's click on the plus and sign here and uh, let's create a midi uh, channel we click on the plus sign here and we are going to search for polybar and i'm going to explain the reason why i'm doing that in a second we go back here and we search for my trusted um, ISIM as a synth audio source we connect it to polybat so that polybat can derive uh, ISIM now we have uh, yeah the fanfare uh, would be okay and we go inside uh, polybat and we create a simple melody really really, really simple uh, something really basic to prove that it works C D E C and we change also the tempo here the rate to a quarter so if I remove uh, um, the H1 nice and simple all right now let's open up the app and let's uh, um, And you can see the notes being uh, converted here on the right hand side now let's uh, mute this channel here now let's create another audio channel and in here for example we are going to load the extension of grand piano and we're going to connect that to the output of the audio to midi app like so and see what happens And you can hear that the melody is the same in terms of being recognized. Of course, there are some imperfection. You can change the accuracy. Better. And of course, it also depends on the decay which is used here on the preset, in this case here. So if you change that, that will have an impact. Additionally, you can change the input gain. That will have an impact as well. And of course, you can change the algorithm in terms of recognizing the note. So overall it's not bad as uh, accuracy and of course you can uh, even connect it to other things like for example let's search for grand stuff like so connect it uh, again to grand stuff um like so midi input uh, okay and click play and uh, you can see the note in that way which is even 
greater. And of course, you can bring in a sequencer, then you can record. Um, of course, it's not perfect in terms of recognition, it will not be. And the different algorithms, of course, will be applicable based on the different type of input source that you have. But um, for example, if you have a melody, you cannot use this quickly to actually recognize the notes. And then of course, you might have to make some adjustment or you can learn it very quickly. It gives you an indication of what the MIDI notes should be based on the melody or the audio source that is coming through. Of course, this works better if you have a single melody or a single instrument playing. Okay, I hope you enjoyed the show tutorial. Uh, give it a go. And um, as always, see you next time. Bye.